All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we all praise on and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakhak Wadash. Double honor to the Apostle and a great millstone for teaching us for saying truth according to the Bible rule well, and peace and blessings so collect of the nation of Israel today through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema and Shai. And we'll get to Lord's will and edifying lesson. You know, it's going to be titled, Are You uh, Are you Catching Hell? Uh, then good. You know, it's a lesson title. You know, the reason why I'm doing this lesson because, you know, talking to, uh, you know, different brothers and of the sort and seems like everybody who is sincere in this thing you know is is being persecuted for righteousness sake is being or you know we're, we're going through uh the fiery furnace you know just as yahweh shai said we would you know and we're being comforted as we go through the, the through these afflictions you know by way of the you know by way of brothers pushing out videos you know, by way of, you know, us praying to Yahweh by Shema Shai and us having the expectation, that hope of the promise, you know, which is the kingdom of heaven, you know, but at the same time we're dealing with it, it's not going to be easy, you know, so through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai, we get into, you know, a quick lesson, you know, Lord's wound is edifying, you know, this is Psalms 119, verse 71, it is good for me that I have been afflicted. So it is good that the believers of Yahweh by Shema Shai have been afflicted, you know? This is a good thing, you know? Uh, nothing in life comes, you know, easy, you know? We're, we're, we're working. Yahweh by Shema Shai has us putting in the work, you know, has us, you know, catching. He's trying us, you know? Scriptures talk about wisdom would try us, you know? And we're being tried. We're being afflicted, you know, but... For righteousness sake, you know, and that's why it's a good thing. It is good for me that I have been afflicted that I might learn thy statutes. Because when you're going through, you know, your hells, your trials and tribulations, you know, the best thing you can do is try to be a uh, uh, more uh, zealous for Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, to lock into the spirit even more. You know, let me see if I can get that. Because the spiritual, uh, the spiritual demon Satan is, is, is trying to, uh, trying to throw us off course. This is, uh, Luke 22 and 31. And it reads, well, I'm really, you know, um, this is Luke 22 and 28. Ye, ye are they which have continued with, with me in my temptation. Because, you know. Through these trials and tribulations, you know, through that affliction that we're catching, the spiritual demon Satan wants us to tap out, you know, and go back into the world where it seems to be easy. You know, that broad gate, you know, but not knowing that soon come they're going to be in straits, you see. But we're catching our hell now, like it tells you in Corinthians, so that when the time of Jacob's trouble comes, we are not judged with the world. Luke 22 and 28, ye are they which have continued with me in my temptation and I point and I appoint unto you a kingdom as my father have appointed unto me so that's what we fighting for we're fighting for the kingdom of heaven we're fighting for sovereignty you know we're fighting for rulership we're fighting for freedom you know clean air clean water real food you see and I appoint unto you a kingdom as my father have appointed unto me that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sit on thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. So we're going to be made kings, Lord's willing. We be part of that number. You know, we believe, you know, through faith and our hope in Yahweh by Shema Shai that we were called into this knowledge to receive salvation. You know, no one, no one prepares for the championship match, you know, going into the bout, you know, thinking that they're going to lose, you know, unless what? Unless you have taken a bribe, you see? Verse 31, and the Lord said, Simon, Simon, and Simon being Peter, you know, aka King David, you know, if you can receive it, the head of the church, you see, it says, and the Lord says, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan had desired to have you 
that he may sift you as wheat. And if the spiritual demon Satan has desired to have uh, Peter, the head of the church, you know, under Yahweh Shai, of course, then what? You know, he has desired to have us as well, you know, and through um, his inward avitations, you know, brothers, you know, catching afflictions, their women uh, are rising up against them, the un, the un, you know, uh, the unrighteous decrees in this kingdom, you know, dealing with, you know, also dealing with the job, you know, those things are supposed to, uh, you know, inward agitate you to what? To have you uh, tap out, you know, and, uh, uh, and uh, give up, you see, but we are not uh, those that draw back onto perdition, you see, which perdition means destruction. But, but, but I have prayed for thee. See, Yahweh Shai is praying for us, you know. The, the only begotten Son, the Heavenly Father, Lord Yahweh Shai, that's been given all dominion and power, is praying for us, you know. So, you know, we're gonna make it. We know that whatever Yahweh Shem Shai, if we remain faithful unto Him, He's gonna remain faithful unto us. And it said unto and he said unto him, Lord, I'm sorry. It says, but I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. So our faith is going to uh, sustain us, you see. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy, bro thy brethren. So when you, you know, go through your hell, you know, you know, you, you sh we should, well, for one, we should be praying uh, for one another, you see. And whatever hell we go through. You know, uh, you know, when when it's time, you know, that's why it's good to uh, share your afflictions with the for, with the brotherhood, you know, whether it be a family situation or a job situation. So, you know, a brother, you know, who may be over you in the truth or, you know, may have, a younger brother who may have dealt with the same thing can comfort you, you know, can comfort you that, um, you know, uh, dealing with that same situation. This is, um, this is St. John chapter 17, you know, um, I always, I always have trouble finding this one. This is, uh, it's talking about, I pray that not that I shall take them out of the world, but that I shall keep them from the evil when they were in the world. I kept them in thy name and none of them is lost. Uh, yep, um, this is uh, St. John 17 and 9. I pray for them, meaning the remnant. Yahweh Shai is praying for us. You know, so we, we ought to pray. You see? It says, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me. For they are thine, and all mine are thine, and, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. And I come to thee, O Holy Father, keep through thine own name those that thou hast given me, that they may be one, even as I am one. So, uh, verse 15, I pray that thou shouldest not take them out of the world, but thou shouldest keep them from the evil. So, Yahweh Shai prayed that not, that not that we should be taken out of the world, meaning, you know, back in the spiritual realm with him. But that we should, you know, uh, uh, you know, give diligence, you know, and that we should be kept from the evil, because the names of Yahweh by Shema Shai are going to be exalted through us, you know, via the Lord saving us, via through all afflictions and hell going on in the world. The Heavenly Father saved a remnant. Yahweh by Shema Shai preserved a remnant, you know, through uh, dire straits. This is a uh, Romans 5 and 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. You know, so we have a peace of mind, you know. We have peace, you know. Yahweh Shai, you know, has given us this knowledge, you know, knowledge of the things to come, you see, which is the kingdom of heaven. And that gives us peace, and we are justified by our faith and believing in the Lord, believing what uh, that whatsoever the Lord put upon us, that we ought to take cheerfully, you know, and that we ought to be patient 
when we are brought to a low estate. And let me read that. It says, uh, Sirach 2 and 1, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. You know, so you, if you're watching this video, you've come to serve Yahweh Shemel Rashai. So you need to prepare yourself. Prepare your mind. You see, to be tempted. Because a spiritual demon Satan desired to have you. But Yahweh Shai is praying for us. You know, and that should be a uh, comforting to know that Yahweh Shai is praying for us. You see? You have to believe that. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright, meaning your mind, set your mind aright. And constantly read that again and constantly endure so we're supposed to be constantly enduring affliction you see this is a fight you know scripts say fight the good fight of faith lay hold on eternal life whereunto thou art also called you know and profess a good profession before many witnesses you see so this is a fight it says set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in a time of trouble. What does it mean to make haste? You know, you're not supposed to be fleeing away from Yahweh by Shema and Shai. You're supposed to be taking your affliction, your hell, head on. You know, I was talking to a brother, you know, earlier, you know, about, you know, going through afflictions. And I was like, when we were talking, when we're being afflicted, you know, we really don't want to watch any videos. You see, you turn the video on, and you turn it off right away. You know, what really... That's when you're supposed to be trying to watch more videos. That's when you're supposed to be trying to send up more prayers, you know? And it's not going to be easy, but that's what we're supposed to be doing, you know? Cleave unto him. Cleave unto Yah by Shemel Shai, And depart not away. That thou mayest be increased at thy last end. That thou may be increased. You see, so in order for your faith to be increased, your faith in Yah by Shemel Shai to be increased... You have to go through afflictions. You have to uh, suffer. That's why it's good that we have afflicted, that we may learn thy statutes. You see, because through these afflictions, through uh, these afflictions, Jaw by Shema Shai will then increase our faith. You know, here it is. You go to a gym. You know, you got a trainer. You work out for an hour. You know, the first time going. Ain't gonna be easy, but the sec, but the but the fifth time going, you're gonna be like, whoa, you know, the hour's already up, you see. And then when it gets too easy, you know what? The the training, you know, gets more intense now. You know, now 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 you got you know now the now, now the training regimen is is harder. You see, and, but the time is still the same. You see, this is um, Sirach chapter two. Verse 4, whatsoever is brought upon thee, so whatever you come across in this walk, whatever hell you you are ordained to catch, you see, whatever it is, whatsoever, brothers know what they're going through, you know, brothers all, we all have our own walk in this thing, we all are, are catching our own hell, you know, very similar though, you see, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, is the Lord said, take it cheerfully. You know, be happy. Really, I mean, that we should be happy. You know, we're suffering for righteousness sake. We're suffering for a, a good cause. You see, Jake wants to uh, uh, walk up and down the street getting uh, sore feet. You see, blisters all on their feet for marching for peace and justice. You know, thinking they're marching for a good cause. No, we are, we are, we're pushing... We're, we're staying firm in the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Shai for a good cause, you know, for the kingdom of heaven. It says, Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully, and be patient when thou art brought to a low estate. You see? For gold is tried in the fire, in acceptable men, in the furnace of, of adversity. So, Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, just as he trieth. Just as we as men trap gold in the fire, and we put it through the fire to see if it's real, you know, if it's real, you know, it pure, the fire is going to be purified when it goes through that fire. You see, it's going to take off all the impurities, you know, that's what the Heavenly Father is doing. Yahweh Shema Shai, you know, is teaching us 
uh, discipline, you know, uh, uh, through these afflictions. It says, in acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So we're being put through the furnace of adversity, you see? And that's going to make us acceptable in the eyes of Yahweh by Shema Shai. And that's what we want. We want to be acceptable in the eyes of the Lord. Uh, Romans 5 and 2, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace where we stand. So we have this grace period. You see, so let's do good, you know. If it means uh, uh, suffering affliction and taking it cheerfully, you know, then that's what we got to do, you see. But while we have this grace, you know, while we have this time to get right, you know, and prepare for the times to come, the time of Jacob's trouble, we ought to do good. And rejoice in hope of the glory of the Most High. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also so we're, 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 we, we're, there's, there's a glory uh, through us going through these tribulations and getting through it you know brothers getting sick going through all type of ailments you know you you holding your cross you bearing your cross and continue to follow Yahweh Shai there's a glory in that you see knowing that tribulation the hell that you're catching worketh patience meaning it, it worketh our patience it teaches us how to suffer more you know and you best believe that whatever you're going through now that it's going to be a ammunition for the times to come for the hell that's coming to the to the world you see you best believe that Whatever we going through, I, I needed that. You know, we need this. So when the real, when the real test comes, you know, you got a condition. You know, brothers who play sports know, you know, uh, if you don't condition before you know, that week before the game, you know, it shows. You see, you getting all tired halfway through the match. Nah, nah, no. Nah, that's not how the Lord got us. You know, He's preparing us. You know, to make it all twelve rounds. You see. It says impatience, experience. So the patience that we gain, you see, the uh, through the tribulations, the ability to suffer, you know, and the, the, the things that we go through, we gain experience. Because let's say you're dealing with an ailment, you see. Uh, later down the line, if you're dealing with an ailment again, you know, I've been here before. You know, Yahweh by Shema Shah, he's got me through this before. You see. That's that experience. And experience hope. You see, you see, the Lord got me through this before. So my expectation is that the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, is going to get us through this again. And hope, which is the expectation, make it not ashamed. See, we aren't going to be made ashamed because the Most High, He is faithful. You see? And will not allow us to be tested above that which ye are able. You see, the Most High doesn't tempt us. This spiritual demon Satan that's trying us, you know. But it's got to realize that, you know, the book of Job is that example. And But the Most High said, nah, my, my, my servant, you know, have you considered my servant Job? That there is none like him in all the earth? You see? So, hey, Job got, Job got through it. We can get through it. It says, in hope make him not ashamed. Because the love of the Most High is shed abroad in our hearts, which is our minds, by the Holy Spirit, which is given unto us. So Yahweh by Shema Shai, and through these afflictions, He's given us a comforter. You see? And that's what we have in these last days. We have comfort, you know, while the rest of the world, um, you know, they don't, have, they don't have nothing, really, you know? Because their drugs, their money, their women... Their uh, temporary comforts are going to fail them. This is uh, 1 Peter 5 and 6. And we'll close out on this. Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of the Most High. That he may exalt you in due time. You know, the Lord is going to bring you low. You see? So we must stay humble through these afflictions. You know, and these afflictions, they, they teach us to be humble. Cast all your care upon him. Casting all your care upon him for he care for you. So we're casting all our care, all 
all the things that we're going through, we're giving up to the Lord. Lord, I'm going through this. You know, this is happening. You know, you know, and you're praying to Yahweh by Shema shine, and we're leaving it into the Lord's hand. And our faith is that the Lord is going to get us through it. Be sober, sober minded, clear minded, having your eyes on the prize. Nothing else in your mind, nothing else should be going through your mind. You see? But this truth, this should be your main focus. You should see, uh, you know, the victory. Be vigilant. You know, I always like this word, uh, vigilant, you know. It says watchful. Keeping careful watch for a possible danger or difficulty. Be vigilant. You see, uh, sometimes you can put yourself in a situation that makes your hell harder. You see, be vigilant because your adversary, the devil... The spiritual name is Satan as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Whom, whom resists steadfast in the faith. So we resist the spiritual demon Satan. I mean, we fight against, you know, the spiritual demon Satan, you know, with these scriptures. Just as Yahweh Shai did to set oneself, to set oneself against to withstand, resist, to oppose, to set against. You see? It says, Whom resist steadfast in the face. So we are firm. You see? We are steadfast. Our, we, we are founded upon that rock, which is Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai, he didn't bow. He didn't fold. Yahweh Shai didn't give up. So we cannot give up. And if we be the body of Yahweh Shai, Lord's willing, we will not give up. You see, we're going to get the victory. Knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. So your brethren are going through this. You know, you best believe it. The, the brethren across the four corners of the earth are going through this. Trust and believe, you know. So at the same time, you're going through your, you know, like I said, your little crap <laughs> that you're going through. Uh, another brother's probably going through something uh, way harder, you see? But the Most High of all grace, who have called us unto His eternal glory, mm, so He called us to receive eternal glory, you know? So this is part of the story, you know, these afflictions. The Lord's willing the kingdom. We're going to be uh, talking about, you know, oh, I remember when the Lord got me through this, you know, the Lord got me through this, you see? Especially in the time of Jacob's trouble. It says, after that ye have suffered. Oh, let's read this again from the top. First Peter 5 and 10. But the most high of all grace, who have called unto us, called us unto his eternal glory by Yahweh Shai Mashiach. After that ye have suffered a little, a while, it says a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, Settle you. So after we went through our little afflictions, you know, just uh, uh, you know, for a little moment, Yah by Shema Shai, he's a stop. He's establishing us. You know, he's strengthening us. He's gonna settle us. You know, and we're gonna be made affirm. You know, we're gonna learn. We're gonna we're gonna gain these experiences. You know, through our afflictions, and through those experiences, we're gonna gain more hope and more trust in Yah by Shema Shai. So it's good that we've been afflicted. Lord's one of the lessons was edifying. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.